What's going on guys? Welcome back to another New World Guide. In this guide, I'm going to show you the best place to farm sulfur chunks so you can smelt it into sulfur and make gold in New World. Now, if you don't know, sulfur is a really, really good way to make gold right now. And I just did a video about that. Now, I do want to mention that to actually get um, more sulfur, you want to make sure you have a full set of mining luck gear and also some mining luck food and trophies. Now, I don't have the food with me right now, but I have an amulet. And I have a full set of mining lucky gear. This does actually increase the rate that is dropped. Uh, I have been testing this over the last few days. And when I have no mining luck gear, I get not much sulfur chunks. When I have mining luck gear on, I get a lot of sulfur chunks. Now, the reason I think this works is because there, there is nothing that rare that drops from sulfur. It's just sulfur trunk chunks. That's it. So it would make sense that the mining gear would contribute to how many you actually uh, get. Now, this is the area that I'm in right here. Um, so you go up to Brimstone Sands and you can go to this uh, fast travel right here. And then we're going to go in this area here. Now, there's a, a few ways of doing this. We have a self, uh, sulfur node right here that we can uh, get real quick. Or Brimstone, I should say. Now, these are... Um, everywhere right so there's more over here there's two more over here we'll just help this guy out real quick gotta help the community you know i do not have the right class for this oh wait what the he, he killed himself why would he do that okay so we have these uh sulfur nodes over here which you probably already know about which is fine. We'll get this one here. And you want to make sure you have some sort of acid resistance. So the ones that I use, so we've got four chunks there. I use these here. I don't have one right now, but powerful essence. Increase res resistance to the, um, to afflictions by 50. And then what you want to do is there's a bit of a method here. You want to go and you want to have a ranged weapon, whether it's a bow or a musket or something. And you want to collect as, as much of these scorpions as you can. And you want to destroy these scorpions. And the reason is, it's because you get sulfur from these scorpions. Now what you want to do is you'll see this area here, up this road here, and in this area here, these scorpion things are going to keep spawning. And you want to use a ranged weapon if you can, to bring them down here. Now there's a few people here, normally there isn't, but my servers are busy at this time. So we're going to have a little bit of competition. And we should get some sulfur from these guys. Hopefully. Yep, we got one chunk there. Now without mining gear, you're usually going to get none from these guys. Okay, I did get none then, which was weird because I usually get it every time with mining gear. And then sometimes these scorpions will spawn down in this area. It's a bit hard to do right now because a lot of people have that. They'll spawn on this road right here. And then there's also some that spawn on this side as well. But they don't really spawn down here or around the pools. Sometimes they might spawn in the pools, but I don't mess with those ones. See, now we have another three or four of just spawned. So use your bow, get them down, or your musket, or whatever you feel like using as a ranged weapon. Get them down into a little bit of a group here. Make sure you're not weak like me. And there we go. And it's just a rinse and repeat process. And what I do, right, it depends on... So we've just got three sulfur chunks there. It depends on if this is a busy area at this point in time. But what I would do right now... There, we've got one sulfur there. Is I would... I'll show you my um, route on the map real quick. Got another map. So what I'll do is I'll usually come down here, I'll start here, and I'll get any of the brimstone nodes in these areas. I'll come up to this area right here. I'll get the scorpions and up here. Then I'll come down here and get the brimstone nodes, go back to here, and I'll keep doing a loop. Now, when you're doing the loop, you're not the brimstone won't always have um, respawn, but just keep doing that because that's really the best way to do this instead of just sitting here trying to wait for these to spawn. But as you can see, there's another one that spawned down there, and there's one that I've spawned that I'm just just uh, thing now. I didn't get a sulfur then, which is strange again. What you might have to do sometimes as well as I've noticed is you need to reset your trophies in your houses if you have mining trophies. But mining food, 2000 mining food is definitely a must 
to get as much sulfur as you can. And obviously your proficiency boosters and the song that gives you more yield. I don't have, the, have them on right now because um, this is just more about the actual farming location. Now I will say, there are, see there's another one spawned down there. There's other farming locations up in these areas here, up on the hills, so kind of like up in here. But I find that the, res the respawn rates are way lower and it's not worth it because the amount that actually respawns or is there in the first place is much lower than what's in here this in my opinion is the best place i've made well over three four hundred thousand gold um smelting sulfur and selling it so i kind of know the best spot and as you can see another brimstone node has come up over here so we can quickly grab that and it's good that it's dark right now so we can see the nodes so we have another node right there and then what i can do we actually have another node over there but i'm going to risk it and i'm going to no, I'm not going to because he's going to get those anyway. But usually I would get those, um, kill them, go get this node and come back. But in this case, we're just going to get this node. Now, oh, we got two then. And then here we go, another node up here. So you just need to keep going around and around and around. And as long as there's only two or three other people doing this, you should have no issue. If it gets like four, five, six, seven people, I wouldn't bother and I would try another location. We just got four sulfur nodes there. So they haven't um, nerfed the drop rate as far as I'm aware. I still get the same amount of sulfur and with the mining food, I actually get a lot more. That's probably why I wasn't getting some drops on the uh, scorpions. All right guys, so that in my opinion is the best sulfur chunk farming location right now. Go out there and make some gold in New World. See you in the next video.